Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a summer favorites video and I know it's been quite a while since I've actually even filmed a video and put it up on this channel, but I've had a lot going on and I kind of talked about that more in a, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna call it like a chit chat, get ready with me slash life update kind of thing because I was kind of wondering how I was gonna just jump back into videos without at least kind of explaining where I've been for the last six months. And I didn't really want to make a video like this super long, so I kind of just pulled out my MacBook, pulled up my webcam, and made a really casual video where I just kind of talked about some things while I did the makeup that I'm wearing right now. And like I mentioned in that video, if I ever upload it, I'm not exactly sure if I will upload it just because it does get a little personal and it's definitely out of my comfort zone for things that I usually put on the internet. So we'll see if it's up. I will definitely link it down below. And either way, somehow in that hour long video, I forgot to even mention the fact that I chopped eight inches off my hair, but I did and I absolutely love it and I wish I had done it sooner, but I did it now and I'm actually gonna go and get it um, cut even shorter. I kind of feel like Gabby Hanna because I chop all my hair off and then I'm back in the salon in a couple weeks ready to chop it even farther. Um, I really want to take it like a couple inches above my shoulders. It's the shortest I've had it in I don't even know how long honestly but I really love it especially for summer so maybe we'll make that my first summer favorite but I'm really loving it. I didn't get anything dyed to it. I still have highlights in from the last time I got my hair done but I don't know. I just I'm really loving the length and I just love how it feels and how it looks. So yeah without further ado without me rambling any longer I'm gonna try to not make this video super long but I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking about my favorites I guess. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I have been loving is this Vaseline lotion. It's just the Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer, and it's in the Coco Radiant one. I actually prefer the yellow one to this one, just because I think I prefer the scent a little bit more, but they didn't have that one when I went to get it, so I just got this one. I love it because it does like sink in super, super fast. I actually think, now that I'm talking about it again, that I did talk about the yellow one before in another favorites video, maybe, but I just love this stuff. I don't have like super dry skin, so I don't need something really heavy. So this stuff is plenty for me and I love it and it, it's not greasy, it just feels really good and it's super easy and quick and I hate spending a lot of time putting lotion on. So my next favorite, if I can find it, oh, here we go, is the, the they're called the NYX Soft Cream, nope, soft matte lip creams and it kind of looks like this i bought a big giant set of them um i think at alta it was like a christmas special and came with a bunch of different shades and this one has been my favorite it's the one i'm wearing right now it is my go-to when i'm just doing casual makeup because i feel like it looks like my lips but better and I don't know, it's just really comfortable to wear. It lasts a really long time. I can eat and it still like is still there. It doesn't look like crap, but yeah, they're just really nice. I like all of the shades are really nice. I haven't worn one that I don't like or that the formula isn't consistent. I just really like them. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and talk about um, my next favorite that kind of goes along with it. It's what I have in the center of my lips and it is actually the Becca Skin Perfecting let me get the name right. So it's the Becca Skin, no, it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight. I got that name way wrong. But it is in the shade Rose Gold and it says it's a skin perfector so I assume you're supposed to use it as like a highlight or like a something to add glow. But like I said, I like to use it in the center of my lips. And I also like it a lot, especially in the summer because I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup. Um, like I don't even I'm not even wearing foundation right now just some concealer um, but a lot of days I don't even do that and I like to use this just to highlight my cheekbones or the inner corners of my eyes or my cupid's bow or whatever and it just gives a nice um, like a nice sheen or not even really a dewy finish just a nice I don't know it's not even like super bright but it's really pretty and I like it a lot especially for the center of my lips and then my next favorite is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, and it is in the shade 
O22 or 022 Sun Bronze. And honestly, I've been using this bronzer or bronzers from this line since high school and I just love it. Like, I feel like if my makeup's not looking the best and I put this on, I'm like, wow, like it looks so much better now. And I also use it to help blend um, my face with my neck. I like to use it on my chest and my collarbones and my shoulders. Anyway, yeah, this is just a really good bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's matte, so it's nice to use all over the face without adding extra sheen. It's just, I don't know, the formula is so soft. It lasts a really long time. And this pan alone, I mean, it lasts a long time on the face, but this pan will seriously last you forever as well. Um, I don't know. I just really love it. I think you should give it a try. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it's under $5 and I think I get it at like Walmart. My next favorite is actually this Dove Body Wash. It is the Sensitive Skin Nourishing Body Wash, and it says it is hypoallergenic for softer, smoother skin after one shower. I like it because I have sensitive skin, especially on my body, and um, I have to watch because a lot of body washes or anything like that with perfumes in them can sometimes irritate my skin and leave me with um, like red splotches or red bumps or just it will break my skin out in weird places and um, that one does not do that so I just really like it and I can also use it on Amelia as well so that's a plus. My next favorite is actually another cleanser, another shower product, and it is, well, I use it in the shower, you don't have to, and it is the Cetaphil or Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, again, with the gentle skin theme, because again, I have gentle, I have gentle skin. I have sensitive skin, and this one is just nice. I use it on my face, down my neck, on my chest, just to, um, I don't know, just to cleanse my skin, get my makeup off whatever my next favorite um for this summer i just started using this a couple months ago not, not even a couple months a couple weeks ago it is the Too faced better than sex mascara it is perfect it is everything i look for in a mascara it is volumizing it is lengthening and it doesn't get clumpy and it's buildable the wand just looks like that super nice and this is just a sample that I got with some Too Faced eyeshadow palettes that I bought and I'm super glad that I did because I love it and I use it just about every day now. My next favorite for this summer has been this Victoria's Secret body spray in Golden Bloom and it just says it is a fragrance mist. It's sexy warm woods, a touch of cozy gourmand, G-O-U-R-M-A-N-D. I not exactly sure what that is and it says it is addicting and smooth and I just like it because it's obviously it's floral but it's not too strong it's kind of sweet at the same time and it's just a body mist so it's not super strong and um, for a body mist I feel like it lasts um, a long time on the body as well which is always nice my next favorite I know that I've talked about before on this channel but it is just the Batiste dry shampoo um, I have been liking the coconut coconut <laughs> I think I want to try that I don't know whatever the coconut and exotic tropical scent yeah I don't know Batiste is just my favorite dry shampoo I love using it I have naturally textured hair so I can go a couple days in between washes and just spray this in and it's really nice like let me try it right now Whew, it's strong I also, wow, you can really see it like flying out of my hair when I do it on camera. But I also like it because it just adds a little bit of volume. So sometimes on like my first day hair, if it's not looking as voluminous as I want it to, I'll add some of this and it just adds some nice texture to my hair. But yeah, it's super nice. I love it. it smells good. And even though it is white, um, it doesn't leave like a gray cast in my hair, even though my hair is pretty dark. Um, I have tried the brown one and I actually used to buy that one but it's I think it's a dollar more expensive and I don't like it as much because like it doesn't leave the white cast which is awesome but it gets all in my hands like if I run it through my hair my hands are covered in brown stuff and then it transfers to other things and then even throughout the day if I am touching my hair I get brown on my fingers so not a huge fan of that it's a good uh, product as far as dry shampoo goes, but I do not like 
getting the brown all over my hands and then all over everything that I touch. So any of the other ones I really enjoy. Um, this one's just my favorite scent as of right now. My next favorite is actually the Dr. Jar UV Sun Fluid. It is um, broad spectrum SPF 30, defends against UV rays and pollution. It's a fresh liquid gel texture, dermatologist tested. And even though this is a small bottle, seriously lasts forever because you only need like the smallest amount. Like it was a sample and I've had it forever. I don't even know if I've talked about this on this channel, but um, I've been loving it for a long time. I've been using it forever and there's still like this much in the bottle, but it's super nice. It doesn't break me out, which is awesome. And I can wear it under my makeup without it feeling too heavy or greasy, or I can wear it alone and it doesn't make my skin look really oily. So that's awesome. So I love this stuff. If you're looking for a sunscreen to use under your makeup or just anytime, I definitely recommend this one. Oh my God, itchy. Ugh, I have like poison oak all over my body and it is miserable miserable I've never had poison in my whole life and now it's all over me <laughs> so I've been struggling a little bit anyway okay so the last product I have in the beauty hair care skincare kind of category is actually this teeth whitening kit it is called the true white whitening system and it comes with this one's actually for the two person but I'm all alone over here so I just look at it as I have twice as much but it just comes with the trays that I boiled to mold to my teeth and it comes with the gel that um, has, it says it has 10 treatments in here, but I've used it um, three times. I've used this tube three times now and I haven't even used a full two treatments in it, even though I feel like I use more in the trays than it says to. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'll get more than 10 uses out of it, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, you just fill the trays with the gel and then you use the light to put in when the trays are in and you let it sit, it says about 12 to 15 minutes. And yeah, I've definitely noticed a difference. And I think I paid $10 for it on Groupon actually. Like I was just scrolling through Groupon and saw it and was like, hmm, $10, like might as well try it. Not gonna hurt anything, it's just 10 bucks. And I had it forever. And I was actually gonna make its own video about like, oh, this is me whitening my teeth, but I, I don't know, I didn't really want to. So there's the video about it or there's me talking about it in a video. But like I said, I think I have noticed the difference even after um, three consecutive uses and I'm really happy with that. Like I said, $10 for way more than 10 treatments I think is a great deal. Um, I, like I said, it was on Groupon, so I'm not really sure if I'll be able to find it again. I had a couple people on my Snapchat asking me about it. I'll see if I can find it. If I can, I'll have it linked down below, along with everything else, just so that I, I let you guys know. I forgot to mention that. Anything that I'm talking about, I'll have linked in the description down below if I can find it. So like I said, if I can find that, I'll link it down below. If not, I'm sorry. I'm sure you can find something similar to it online somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to get into some of my um, my fashion favorites. And my first favorite, again, I don't know if I've talked about these or not. Wow, I hope this is not like just a big repeat of stuff I've already talked about. But my first one are these sunglasses. They are just tortoise shell and they have the like reflective lenses on them that are like orange and green duochrome. I don't know. They're just the brown and black tortoise shell. I just fold these up and literally just throw them in my purse. I've had these forever and they're a little banged up, but really not bad at all for what I put them through. And I love them. They're so durable and I feel like they look good with just about anything. And I don't know, they're just really easy. I love them. They're super strong and then I haven't lost them. So they're definitely a favorite of mine and they have been for a long time now. So I just had to talk about them. And then my next fashion favorites are actually these Alex and Ani bracelets. The first one is this like wrapped, it's like a rope one that tightens around my wrist. Like I pull these two strings and it tightens. And I love that because I have little baby wrists. So most bracelets kind of fall off my wrist pretty easily. But this one is actually, actually they were all three gifts from my aunt and uncle. 
and this one has my birthstone on it and it has like just a little Alex Nani tag on it but I love this because even if I'm not wearing like the metal bangle parts I love wearing this one because it's comfortable and it's cute and it just doesn't take up much space and like I said I can tighten it around my little baby wrists and it doesn't go anywhere and then these next two let me take them off so that I can show you a little bit better but um this one has like stars on it yeah i can't tell if they're rose gold or if they're just regular gold i think they're just gold but this one has stars on it and then this one has like pinkish like white crystals on it with little like bows around here which is the alex and ani um, charms on it and they came as a set from again my aunt and uncle and I love them all, especially together. Um, yeah, I just think they're really cute. And I'm not usually like a huge bracelet person, like I said, because I have little wrists and bracelets slide right off of me. And I've never been a fan of hitting my hand on like a table or something and having bracelets in the way. That's why I didn't really wear a lot of them in school or anything like that. I just hated the sound of them hitting my desk. But I just love these anytime I'm going out. Um, and then I like to wear this one almost just about all, like every day, so. Yeah, definitely a favorite of mine. I've been wearing them a ton lately. And then my next favorite is this wallet. It is super bright. I just watched like the whole lighting on my camera change. But look how pretty that is. I don't, is that holographic? I don't know. It is gorgeous. It is so pretty. I love it so much. I actually got this as a gift for myself for Christmas this past year. And I've been using it ever since. It has held up really well. It looks almost brand new. And there's a ton of space on the inside of it. And I don't know, it holds everything I need it to. I love that it zips closed and it is super pretty and I get a ton of questions on it. I actually got it from Charlotte Rouge, like I said, a long time ago. And it was actually the last one they had and I was never able to find it online. So I think that they stopped making them, but I don't know, I just love it so much. It is probably my favorite wallet that I've ever had. And then my last favorite in the fashion, I guess, category, actually I lied, I have one more after this, but my next favorite is just this leather purse. It is completely beat to crap. Um, it is real leather, I got it at a thrift store and I paid actually, I, I've left it in here for a long time because I don't know why, but I paid $3 and 40 cents for it at a thrift store and I loved it because I love this weaving. It's real leather. I love the long strap, the crossbody style. It's the perfect size to keep me from carrying my whole life in a bag, but it still holds everything that I need it to. And I don't know, I just love it. It goes with everything and it has definitely been a favorite of mine over the last couple months. And then my next favorite is actually an anklet that I've been wearing, so I'm gonna have to take it off really quick. Um, I have worn this thing every single day, like without taking it off for the last November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, like nine months. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a long time. And it's elastic, so it hasn't broken. I've been super surprised about that. I feel like I rip it off of myself every time I take a pair of leggings off, but it's just it has all of the seven colors on it that are supposed to balance your chakras and um, it has my birthstone here. I don't know. It's just really, I don't know. I think it's cute. The only complaint I have about it is that when I like sit with my feet up or Indian style, which I do pretty much constantly, these the big beads fall to like my ankle bone and when I lay my leg down, I always lay it on those beads so it kind of hurts. So I'm always adjusting it, but I love it and I think it's cute and I don't know if it's really balanced my chakras or not, but I can only hope so. So it has definitely been a favorite of mine, I'd say, for the fact that I've worn it, you know, every day for the last nine months. So I think that definitely constitutes it as being a favorite. <laughs> yeah, okay, so enough, enough about that. I think I'm gonna move on to, what is my next category? My random favorites. My first random favorite is this Yankee Candle, and it is obviously just about gone. I think I could probably get like one good burn out of it, 
before <laughs> before it is just done for it looks like crap because i put it out by putting the cap on it so there's like a black smoke ring around the top but it is in the scent pink sands and seriously it smells so good like candy but not too strong like i don't know it's just the perfect summer scent i burned it in the winter too i don't know it's just my favorite it's I love it. I got this for Christmas from my um, my future sister-in-law and my brother. So, I don't know. I just love the scent and I love burning it because it makes the whole room, house smell so good. My next favorite is, again, kind of random, but it is a Tide to Go pen. I am probably the clumsiest person that I know. Every time I eat, I feel like I drop something on my shirt or on my pants or when I'm doing my makeup and I'm like, oh, I can go ahead and get dressed. I don't need to worry about waiting in case I drop makeup on myself. No, no, no. So <laughs> this comes in handy quite often. I keep one in my diaper bag. I keep one in my purse. I keep one here at the house. I just have them all over the place. I love using them. They work so well. Um, I don't know. I, it's just saved several pieces of my clothing and it's definitely a favorite that I wish I didn't need, but unfortunately I do, so. Okay, and my last favorite in my random category is just extra gum in the Polar Ice flavor. I chew a lot of gum. I'm not really going to talk a lot about it because there's not much to talk about it, but I just, like I said, chew a lot of gum. This was my mom's favorite, so it's been the one I've been chewing since I was younger, and it's just my favorite. It's good, and it lasts a long time. Not really much else I can say about it, but it's really good. And the last category I want to talk about are just some YouTubers that I've been really loving. I don't watch TV. I really don't watch any movies unless it's like Harry Potter, but I watch a ton of YouTube. And so I just have some YouTubers that I have been really liking and watching just about every day here lately. So the first one is David Dobrik and just the vlog squad in general, like Zane and Heath and... Liza, of course, and Gabby Hanna. I actually wanted to make Gabby her own because I like, I think that's how I started on David as well because I like started binge watching Gabby Hanna's videos or The Gabby Show and I just fell in love with her. I watched literally every video she's ever uploaded and I fell in love with her and I got introduced to David Dobrik through her and now I'm binge watching all of his vlogs and now I'm kind of on to watching a lot of Zane's videos and Liza's videos and just all of them in general as a whole. Oh, and Jason, Nash, and Trisha. I've, I used to watch Trisha a long time ago, but I've kind of got into her a little bit more now that I've been watching the vlog squad a lot. I don't know. Not going to talk too much about it, but I've just been really liking all of them. I'm sure most of you know who at least one of the people I just mentioned are, but I'll have all of their channels linked down below if you guys want to check them out. And then the next channel I want to talk about are the Boosted Boys, and it's probably not something that a lot of people could picture me watching or would have guessed that I watch, but Cars has always been kind of a hobby of mine or a like a love of mine. I don't even know if I... Yeah, I guess I could say that. My dad was a mechanic and... I've just been around cars my whole life and it's just something that I really enjoy. I like watching the content that they put up and I like all of their personalities, Kyle and Emilio and Brent and the whole PFI team and I don't know. I just really like the content that they put up. It's fun and it's different than a lot of the other stuff that you see on YouTube. So if you're interested in anything like that, I don't know how much my audience um, would be interested in watching them. but. It's a really great channel. I definitely think you guys should go check them out if you want to or if you're interested. I'll have them linked down below as well if you want to check them out. I really like them and I've been watching everything that they've put up for a couple months now and I just really enjoy it. And then the last channel I want to mention in my last favorite is actually the channel D Almighty. It's spelled D-A-L-L-M-Y-D and I'm actually not even sure of the guy's name. I, I probably should have looked that up, but I really haven't been watching them for that long or him for that long, but he um, he dives in rivers and the ocean and springs and 
all of that and he looks for treasures and he records it and he uses a metal detector sometimes and I don't know it's just really almost relaxing to watch like the last several nights I've fallen asleep to um, like him swimming around in the water looking for whatever he's gonna find and I don't know I've just really been enjoying his videos and again it's kind of something random but it's something I've really been enjoying so I'll have him linked down below as well if you want to check that out and yeah I think that was all for my youtuber category okay so those were all of my summer favorites or at least the things that I have been loving consistently for the last couple months and I thought this would be an easy video for me to kind of sit down and get used to talking to the camera again and let me know if you guys even like videos like this I had somebody in my personal life that I went to high school with tell me that they really enjoyed my fall favorites video so I wanted to go ahead and film another one for the summer or for the last couple months whatever you want to consider it and um, yeah I let me know what you think about it. If you have any other suggestions of videos that you want to see me do, leave them in a comment down below. Or if you have any questions about anything, leave it in a comment. Like I said, I'll have all kinds of stuff linked in the description. Everything that I talked about, I'll have my social media and all of that good stuff. So if you want to check anything out, just check the description and it should be down there if I can find it. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day or night or whatever time it is when you're watching this. And until next time, I will see you guys later.